Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager. This is their part number 802S-MIL-B. This is a piece of uh, bristle weather strip is what it is. Um, a bristle weather strip like this, where it has a, I think what would be called a 180 degree retainer, um, meaning the retainer is just flat. Uh, or in line with the insert itself. Um, material like this is, is you know, um, you'll see it drawn in catalogs as perimeter gasketing. You know, I'm not, I'm not so convinced about having this <clears throat> sort of end make, having the door make contact with this end. Um, you know, if I just push straight down the bristle, they're, they're very tough and resilient. If you're going to use bristle as perimeter gasketing, you're going to want the style that has a 30 degree or so angle so that when the door closes, it folds that bristle back over the door. Like here's what I'm attempting to demonstrate. But this client ordered a seven foot piece and two three foot pieces. So where are they using this? Um, a seven and two threes, it's probably not perimeter gasketing, which in my opinion wouldn't be the best application. Um, because again, the door is basically going to hit the bristles head on <laughs> and not get them to collapse over very well or to bend over at all. You know, that's not going to happen. So a couple of threes and a seven tells me it's probably a double door, uh, door sweeps, uh, and then an astragal on one door. It's probably what's happening here. And in fact, 180 degree bristle like this would be very well suited for door sweep work and for astragal or split astragal work. Um, split astragal, the term split just means that you're taking a couple of pieces like this and putting one on each door, having them uh, do the work of an astragal. You're just splitting the astragal and dividing it uh, among the two doors. Um, the fact that there's only one, not unusual. You could certainly have an active door, and that inactive door is really hardly ever opened. That active door is always going to close. You're going to mount the astragal on the pull side of the active door. And have the astral close or if it's an in-swing application you could you're on the inside now you could have the astral mounted to the push side of the inactive door so that door always seals up against the bristle that's attached you know you want that astral to be, to be on the exterior <clears throat> you want your have your line of defense in my estimation as close to the outside as possible um, and that's probably what's happening here as a door sweep it's certainly going to be very uh, good to use. Um, you know, the problem that you're going to have is in this application, in your mind's eye, imagine that other vertical, the 84 inch coming down and resting on top of this door sweep. This area here is not going to be covered very well. I would sure want to investigate the possibility of mitering this and your astragal so that you really don't have a discontinuity um, in, in what's happening. Okay. I would uh, I'd want to I'd want to look into that. Or actually, what you could do um, more realistically is to um, notch one piece, not miter it, but notch it, notch it here. Or what you could do is simply run your door sweep along, and then hold it back to the point where the astragal will come all the way down. You're going to notch your material. Um, so that you get as best coverage as you can without having a lapse of, um, of your door sweep material. And that's generally what you see. Someone will run the astragal all the way long and then kind of bring the door sweep up to the back of the astragal as best as possible. And it would be something like, you know, if you ran your, if you ran the astragal, <clears throat> all the way down, I have this backwards, there we go, if you ran your astragal all the way down and then basically notched the back side of the astragal so that you could run your, your door sweep all the way to the back end of it, if you notched it here up to the point of the raised retainer area, if you notched out this area you could then run your door, your, your sweep as long over as possible and you really aren't going to have you know you'll have very little 
you know, that you've not been able to cover there is just simply the bottom line. You know, in the absence of a more elegant solution from Hager, um, you know, minimizing your loss there would be uh, is really what you're you're striving at there, where those astragals would meet your split astral would meet a door sweep. So there is um, so that's where you're going to use it an astragal or a door sweep. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for perimeter gasketing. I just don't see how you're going to get the door to close without substantially forcing the bristle to bend every single time in a way that it's not meant to bend, and I think you're going to uh, fatigue the material. There is a l image down below that shows the uh, important dimensional properties of the item. It's an inch and a quarter overall height. This is actually closer to, yeah, that's all right, right, inch and a quarter. You have three quarter worth of aluminum. Looks like it's about uh, 11 16th. The bristles running a little bit long on half inch, apparently. The thickness of the material, they've got it at quarter inch, at least of the aluminum. Not that you can really see that, but there you go. Quarter inch is what they're calling it out as. Okay, a little bit, uh, a little bit, appears to be spot on at quarter inch. Um, <clears throat> so the 802 is representative of this profile. What it looks like, the holder with the inserted bristle, the MIL, uh, sorry, the 802S uh, indicates all of that. The MIL means it's a mill aluminum finish that's here, okay? Then the B stands for the bristle. The MIL and the B are variables in the part number. Speaking of the part number, we can switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at how the part number changes um, based on the available options. So let's do so now. Here's the item that we're looking at. And we have jam weather strip with nylon brush insert, aluminum, mill finish, the length of whatever it is that you, part that you're looking at does include number six by five eighths pan head sheet metal screws. And if you're applying this for a split astragal, you definitely want to order them in multiples of two. They are just sold as each. Smoke tested, UL listed, positive pressure rated. Um, positive pressure is a uh, definition of a fire test and where exactly the plane of pressure is measured at re, um, augmenting the neutral pressure testing that stood for decades. Um, if you were to do an internet search for those terms, you'll, you'll find much deeper definitions than that. Supporting documentation. Let's go over it now. Product info is up first. So this is going to be a great overview from Hager when it comes to weather stripping, but as it applies to fire ratings. Uh, they go into different categories of how it applies and that you might end up seeing that uh, requirement in specifications. Uh, so this would be a document to review uh, for that application, if you were to bump into, you know, a fire rating or a smoke rating, then also a chart in terms of where or what standard applications would call for. You know, someone might say, well, where, where would I use a three-hour door? Where would I use an hour and a half door? This chart helps you understand that. Um, okay, stairwell enclosures are 90-minute doors or exterior doors, which generally are not fire rated, but if there's a high risk of uh, exposure to... Uh, fire, then yeah, your exterior doors can be fire rated as well. So looking at the product catalog, that's going to show us those variables we talked about earlier. So the 802S is right here, and here are our variables. The finish, mill aluminum, dark bronze anodized, and G, uh, DBA and GLD for gold. This insert is only B for bristle, and this is compliant with category H and J applications as we show where to locate those definitions here just earlier. Okay. Now in, in situations or in weather stripping where there are options when it comes to inserts uh, such as there would be an option. On the 750 you could do neoprene and silicone along with a fourth finish. So you get the point 750S dash finish dash insert. That's how that's going to work. In terms of other bristles, they do have some other sizes here. They have the 802 that we're looking at, which is an inch and a quarter overall height. Then they have the 806S, which is going to be closer to 2 and 3 16 overall height. 
the 801s. It's going to be a larger bristle. That's two inch overall uh, all height. They have a smaller unit here with a snap-on cover. That snap-on cover is awfully nice because it, it, in the opinion of many, and I agree, it's a bit uh, more aesthetically pleasing than seeing the head of screws on your door. So if you're looking for something a bit, um, you know, more perhaps elegant in look, consider the snap-on flange. Now, looking at the installation instructions, uh, basically this is going to say cut to length, you know, measure, cut the length, and, and attach. Um, jam application, install the header piece first and then jam pieces. Uh, the jam pieces should contact the header piece at the top and threshold at the bottom. Um, yeah, you know, again, I, I would use, I would prefer an angled style bristle. And Hager does indeed manufacture that. We'll show you where that's located um, when we get to the end of the, uh, of the video. Uh, the astragal, ast all astragal should butt up up against top jam gasket. Sure, you're going to have gasketing at the top. It's just if you're using it as an astragal, it's not going to butt up against that, assuming you're mounting it on the pull side. If on the push side, yeah, you're going to want to run that as tight to the top as you can. Overlapping astragal should be positioned so the gasket overlaps the inactive door. And that's what I was talking about earlier, and that's very likely what this client is using it for. If you have a pair of doors, you know, the question becomes is what's the active, what's the inactive? On an in-swing door, if this was a right-hand in-swing, you know, I would want to mount that here so it covered my inactive door. Okay? If it was the opposite application where I had a uh, right-hand reverse door, I would want to mount it over here so it applied. Okay? Same logic applies if you're dealing with, a, um, with the opposite hand active. Or, or then again, a split astragal is going to be exactly this. You know, you're going to put both of the pieces so that they overlap in the center of the opening and uh, give yourself the best coverage. You don't want to have so much contact between the bristles that it prevents the door closer from actually getting the doors closed. Sweeps to fit for sweep application, the holder should be positioned so the gasket touches the threshold or floor. And that's another point of... Uh, that would be a uh, that would come into the realm of the expertise of the installer. You know, if you're installing, you know, this threshold, um, this door sweep on a door, you know, you're going to want to have your bristles, however, make contact so that it seals, but then again, doesn't cause a problem with the door closer getting it closed. You need contact, but so much. Uh, might bind the door, and that's the reason why they have slotted holes in the holder in almost all instances. Avoid cutting next to a screw hole. If necessary to shorten, cut length from each end. Sure, you want to balance out the location of the holes. Locate holes and screws where they will not interfere with butting part together. Corner where strips meet, use high temp silicone caulk to fill in gaps between gaskets. Sure. Um, so cutting the material, there are actually, there's not just two materials involved here, there are three. Aluminum, nylon, and steel. And the steel, which I'll show you later, um, is uh, what holds the bristle together. The point of that is, is don't run this through your 80 tooth miter box saw. You're gonna see, you're gonna see some sparks uh, when it hits that steel. Uh, you don't wanna lose, a, lose teeth on your blade. Um, so the template is next. It's probably just an expanded technical drawing. Not much. It's literally what we have in the extended description of the item. Uh, it references the screws, which are indeed included, and I'll show you those in a moment. Actually, let's switch back to the camera view. But before we do that, I just want to point your attention to this link to the manufacturer's page. And when that page comes up, you're going to be able to review uh, not only all of the Hager products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. And I'll ask that you actually open that catalog up now. And let's take a tour real quick. The 802S is what we're looking at. And if I'm just going to search the document for it, I'm going to find the door bottom sweeps. And I happen to know perimeter gasketing comes after that section. And sure enough, or jam weather stripping, they call it. And there, sure enough, here are your angle style pieces. This is what's going to be appropriate in my opinion as jam, weather stripping, or 
weather stripping for overhead doors. Uh, angle style, if you were to study the overhead door of a residential application, you're going to see vinyl on an angle. It's going to look not unlike this. It'll be a slightly larger, and these dimensions may or may not work for your application, but perimeter gasketing, this makes a lot of sense right here to do that. Uh, actually, since we're talking about perimeter gasketing, I want to I would like to do, uh, I'd like to divert to um, quickly making you aware of a piece of equipment that is basically a Z bracket. Uh, Hager does not make these, Zero does, some other people do. But when you have a door installed, here is the exact application we're talking about perimeter gasketing, angled bristle. When you run your soffit mounted hardware this parallel arm bracket or the strike of a rim exit device you have an interrupt in your gasketing that's not that's not the correct way to specify that you're going to want to use a jam bracket like this so that your weather stripping can run continuous to cover your door and then you make adjustments to your templating when attaching your hardware that parallel arm bracket would literally uh, attach to this or your rim exit device strike would literally attach to this you know, imagine this, um, you know, rotated so that it was in cross-section for a jam. Uh, you would attach your rim exit device strike to this so that, again, your weather stripping can run continuously. Uh, so, you know, and that applies to all weather stripping, not just angle style bristle. We're only talking about angle style because we're speaking of bristle uh, is the bottom line. Th you'll be able to review in the full product catalog the full offering of Hager weather stripping that's here. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now I had said that there are three different pieces inside of here. That is indeed the case. That's the steel retainer right there. So aluminum, bristle, and then your steel. So be mindful of that. These are listed in the site in lots of different lengths. And by the way, after you get the material installed, crimp the end of it here. I've had people call up and say, you know, that there's damage on there. It's been bent in. Well, it's not damaged, but the factory has crimped the holder so that it doesn't slide, because slide it will um, if you don't crimp that. So just pinch that to the point where the bristle won't slide, but not so far that you can't relieve that and then pull your insert out or replace it possibly um, down the road if it needs to be replaced for wear and tear. Uh, this happens to be a three-foot piece, as I mentioned. You have a slotted hole here, another one here, and they're basically equidistant. From each other but they're also symmetrical from the end so if you have need for a custom length by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the net length you'd like for us to cut the material back to because it'll save you the trouble of cutting it aluminum bristle and steel or aluminum and steel but also drilling a new hole in a, and that's a slotted hole and that's there to help you contend with a sill that's not level you know or a door that's not plumb it, or when you're drilling your hole, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit if you've not used a center punch. Um, and we'll help contend with that. I've watched people adjust their door sweeps because they've installed it. Then the doors, the closer can't get it installed, uh, closed, and they realize they've got this really binding on the threshold. <laughs> You'd have to pull it closed. Um, you know, so there's a you know there's a balance that you have to do of coverage, but still not increasing the amount of force it takes to close the door. Um, and of course, drilling a slotted hole is not easy. So be mindful if you hit need, need a custom length. Does this client need an 84 and 236s? No, probably not. They probably need an 83 and an eighth, and two that are 35 and 13 sixteenths. I would have ordered it that size. Not that it's obvious to the client uh, that you can do that, but this video is saying you can do that. We encourage that. Um, so those screws that I had mentioned earlier, they're included. Plenty of screws here for this three foot length. Um, a little heavy-handed on the quantity of screws that are sent. Those are just those six. They say five-eighths panhead sheet metal screws. Uh, that link to the manufacturer's page again. The dive into the Hager catalog is a several hundred page uh, length trip, so to speak. Hager, the, their namesake Hager Hinge, uh, doesn't tell the whole story at all. A lot more than hinges, obviously. Uh, hinges door closers, exit devices, lock sets, electrified hardware, Sherman Auxiliary, sliding door hardware, accessory hardware like signage, um, obviously Sherman Auxiliary, if I haven't already said that, 
Uh, and then weather stripping, uh, lots of stuff. Their product line is ever growing. They have a team of people there that are that definitely work together, moving that company forward. Uh, early 2020, they are in the in the midst uh, midst of building a state of the art distribution center uh, in Alabama, and I have an invitation to visit once they get that up and running about you know summertime, something of that nature. Uh, looking forward to do that. A lot of robotic um, picking equipment. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Whatever facilitates the delivery of goods to market, you know, is is a good thing. In this day and age, the tolerance for lead times seems to have not gotten any more tolerant. Um, so just getting material shipped out, and for a manufacturer, you know, they don't want to take an order of a two three footers and a and a seven foot. They're going to make a batch of these get them on the shelf. Well, the material's no good sitting on the shelf if you can't get it out the door. And I think that's what they're working on, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, Hager has a very loyal client base. There have been instances when a client has called and says, I need a Hager lock so-and-so, so-and-so. Okay, I call the factory. Lead time's three weeks. Let the client know. Lead time is three weeks. We have, oh, gosh, that long, huh? Well, I have other options. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to wait for the Hager. I hear that often, uh, in fact. And... Um, it's, it's, I, I, I want to use the word strange, but it's not strange. I want to use the word peculiar or odd, but it's neither. It's just an example of the loyalty that the established installed client base has to the manufacturer. Um, I have lots of locks I can sell you that I believe are good, but I don't hear that about other manufacturers. No, I'll wait for the sergeant. Uh, no, I mean, you might say that because you have, an, you have a, a keying system that's installed, but it's just... It strikes me as noteworthy that people, I've heard it more than once. If you have any questions on the 802S uh, bristle-style weather strip or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.